The city of Tobasco in Mexico has suffered many terrible storms and has extremely powerful sweeping power. Large storms cause landslides, floods, drifting houses, etc., causing people to migrate to avoid accidents and even many people are missing. How has the situation left serious effects and heavy losses? Flooding in Tobasco, Mexico, 2022. The recent heavy rains caused by Hurricane Eta in 2022 and the release of the Penitas Dam in the southern Mexican state of Tobasco due to overcapacity have caused severe flooding in a number of areas of the state. Not only that, but the factory was also damaged, causing great loss. Many people lost their property completely because the rain entered their houses and swept away their houses. This situation leaves many remnants and burdens the lives of many people. The impact of the storms made broadcasters also have to report it directly. Not only the consequences are severe, but also affect the quality of life of thousands of people. There are also a number of people who lost their lives in a very painful way when they did not resist the power of the sweeping storm. The storm left at least six areas, including the central urban area in Villa Hermosa City. The capital of Tobasco State in Mexico, severely affected by flooding and also displaced about 12,000 residents, hiding in shelters. Especially large cities suffer more severe consequences when a series of valuable advanced machines are lost. And migration is difficult when possessing a high population. With the raging of high-grade storms, the state government is taking active measures to combat the destructive power of storms and to protect the safety of people in the country. However, no matter how much efforts are made, the consequences left by the storm are very serious not only losing property, but sometimes even failing to protect people's lives. That is the power of nature on earth. On October 5, authorities reported that two people were killed by a typhoon in Tobasco. With heavy rains and flooding still happening regularly at this location. The lives of about 150,000 people in the affected areas became extremely stagnant. However, despite being aware of the strength of storms, many people still refused to leave their homes for the fear of being robbed, as well as being infected with the SARS-CoV-2 virus that causes acute respiratory infections, COVID-19, in shelter areas. Since then, there is the possibility of floods causing more people to die. Many people took refuge in a low mood and worried about their property, life as well as their missing loved ones. The sweep of the storm left much fear and sadness in all the people of the world, including the unaffected areas. Over the years, the Tobasco state government has repeatedly warned that it will sue the Federal Electricity Commission CFE for damages from the Penitas Dam discharges. And that's exactly what happened and caused a lot of shocking information. Other regions are also starting to be on the lookout for the worst case scenario. However, it is still difficult for human strength to withstand the sweep of the Typhoon Eta 
a series of factories are no longer usable, students cannot go to school, hundreds of houses are severely damaged and properties are damaged and many missing people have yet to be found. What a terrifying scene in the human world. Not only Tobasco but also other areas in Mexico are also suffering extremely heavy consequences. Areas that appear to have become isolated due to severe flooding, transportation difficulties, services are blocked, the economic condition of the entire region is disrupted. On November 7, authorities in Mexico announced that heavy rains caused by Typhoon Eta had killed at least 20 people in the southern state of Chiapas. The government of Chiapas state which borders Guatemala, where about 150 people were killed or missing, said that of the 20 victims, 10 were in the town of Chenalho, 8 in the cities of El Bosque and La Grandeza, 1 in Oxchuk and 1 in Mitontic. The storm also caused landslides in at least 20 locations in Chiapas. Although Tobasco is also suffering a lot of damage from Hurricane Eta, there are still a number of other countries that are equally affected, thereby showing us the terrible devastation of the terrifying storms. When the storm hit, people had to fight with its terrible power. But after the storm passed, it left behind violent flash floods that could drag hundreds of people to their deaths. This makes people fall into confusion, anxiety, not knowing whether among the unlucky people out there, they will be me or not. Close up of a man being swept away by floods. The pull of this current is so strong that he can't get out and it seems he can't swim. So dozens of other men rush in to help. Fortunately, there were no human casualties. More and more flash floods in Tobasco are being created by Hurricane Eta, warning residents to take cover to avoid being swept away by the storm. Non-stop heavy rains made Tobasco more and more submerged in the sea. Huge damage to industry and the storm even engulfed hundreds of homes. Perhaps people had to rebuild their lives with difficulty after so much damage. If this flood situation continues, it is certain that the life of the whole state of Tobasco will seriously deteriorate. Proceso magazine reported that Parioso, where the new refinery of Pemex and Tiapa is located, and the two municipalities in the state of Tobasco that have been hardest hit in recent days and the other 10 municipalities in Tobasco State with reported flooding are Centro, Villa Hermosa, Cardenas, Jalpa de Mendes, Rimengolio, Comalco, Kandukan, Jalapa, Nakayuka, Centla, and Takotalpa. Civil Protection Authorities reported on Thursday that more than 500 homes had been flooded and about 13 residents in 87 communities had to be evacuated. Tobasco is located in one of the 10 most important watersheds of North America. One third of all water resources in Mexico pass through here. Flood events are part of the natural history of the basin. However, flooding has increased spatially and in intensity. Thereby, it can be said that Tobasco is the most important state in Mexico. So the flood and attrition here caused the sweeping Eta Beach has left many heavy impacts on the whole country of Mexico. Data on total annual perception as high as 4,000 millimeters are held regularly within the borders of Tobasco and Chiapas. The most important wetlands of Mexico are located here. 
on the lower basin of the Jirijalva and Usumancita rivers. Since ancient times, people in this part of Mexico have been involved in flood systems in a variety of ways. A system of dams generates most of the electrical energy used across southern Mexico. Oil extraction, livestock rearing and agriculture are the main economic activities and also cause significant loss of natural ecosystems and ecosystem services. The objective of the study was to study the causes of flooding in the vicinity, building maps of geomorphology and climate, topography, hydrology, soil, historical review of floods, rivers and land use, as well as analysis of meteorological data were performed. The vulnerability of the ecosystem was assessed. The results showed that 90% of the original biodiversity of the rainforest has been lost mainly due to the farming practices and poor livestock management. Road infrastructure, unplanned urban growth and oil extraction infrastructure have caused important impacts, especially on hydrodynamics and coastal areas. Irregular events with more than 200 millimeters in 24 hours are more common each year. The number of intensity of floods today have increased and put a large number of people at risk. As a result, the state of Tabasco is regularly exposed to severe storms. From there, we see the terrible statistics of the remnants after the passing of Hurricane Eta in the international Mexican state of Tobasco. It creates pressure on people's lives and a series of economic entities have been stagnant for a long time. In addition, life here develops a step slower, but the loss in number of people is still the most regrettable thing. And this is also the end of today's video. Thank you for watching the whole video. Don't forget to leave a subscribe button to see more interesting videos.